case was ruled a homicide by the by the coroner's office, which is shocking because the coroners never rule these cases homicides. And for now, the DA's office to then say, oh, but it was justified is very discouraging. Well, the Jefferson Parish District Attorney's Office said they will not be seeking charges against the four JPSO narcotics agents involved in the death of Kevin Robinson. Good evening, I'm Sharice Gibson. And I'm Katie Moore. 22-year-old Kevin Robinson was killed in 2018 after a short foot chase in Old Jefferson. The officers tried to arrest him on drug charges. Paul Dudley has been following along that story since it broke more than two years ago and has the latest from Gretna. We are very, very disappointed with the system today. Outside the Jefferson Parish District Attorney's Office, a small protest after the DA said no charges will be filed in the death of Keevan Robinson. We are distraught and the family is distraught that no charges, no, these officers will not be prosecuted. More than two years ago, Robinson was fatally choked during a struggle with four undercover Jefferson Parish narcotics agents, David Lowe, Jason Spadoni, Justin Brister, and Gary Bordelon. The death was ruled a homicide. The cause of death, compressional asphyxia. Simply put, Robinson was deprived of oxygen. But ultimately, the DA's office could not prove beyond a reasonable doubt that the actions of the agents rose to the level of criminal conduct. And we had an expert, who an independent expert, who examined the entire case. And in the end, it was his conclusion that the force used was reasonable. On Tuesday, the district attorney's office issued a 27 page report detailing their investigation. It includes input from a team of medical professionals as well as a use of force expert. However, there were few witnesses who actually saw what happened with exception to the officers involved. What I come down to then is the are the statements of the officers uh, describing the incident and I have nothing to contradict that. Back at the DA's office, protesters saddened but not surprised by the outcome. I can't say I was shocked because this is the way of the old guard. Um, the, of course, the DA's office is going to protect the police officers. They have to work with them daily. In Gretna, Paul Dudley, Eyewitness News. Well, two of the four deputies involved are no longer working for JPSO. The other two are still on administrative duty. Now, the sheriff's office will conduct a review of the DA's report and then decide the future of the officer's employment based on the findings.